Kenyan Navy ship Shupavo, the first naval ship to undergo a midlife ref uh, refit in Kenya, which proved the capacity of Kenya shipyards to undertake complex engineering tasks requiring specialized scientific and technological expertise. Today, we are commissioning a wholly newly built Majam marine vessel, once again demonstrating the ability of the Kenya shipyards to build, repair, and maintain ships for local, regional, and possibly international operators. The work of building MV Uhuru 2 and <clears throat> upgrading the Kisumu shipyard has been undertaken by Kenyan professionals in a project which provided many young people with practical shipbuilding skills through apprenticeship and on the job training and was completed within 24 hours, 24 months, sorry, and well within its budget. I must congratulate my predecessor, President Uhuru Kenyatta, for his foresight in coming up with this shipyard uh, refurbishment. When one morning he asked me for us to visit Kisumu and see what the military could do, when we came here, it was a heap of dirt, wreckage, and old buildings. To see what we are seeing here today is phenomenal. And I must say, both President Uhuru Kenyatta and the leadership of our military, with a lot of foresight, drove this program to where we are today. When I took over office, it is among the first decisions I had to make when the leadership of the military asked me directly whether this project should continue and whether it was a priority of the new administration. And I confirmed to them that it should just not continue, that it should be accelerated. For these remarkable feats, I commend the entire Kenya Shipyards team for once again exhibiting admirable professionalism and the highest standard of skillful work. I am proud to note that the Kenya Shipyards is quickly emerging as a leader in high quality shipbuilding for our local and regional needs. Consequently, the Kenya Shipyards have been contracted to repair and maintain ships for government ministries, departments, and agencies, including the Kenya Coast Guard Services, the Kenya Ports Authority, the Kenya Maritime Authority, the Kenya Marine Fisheries Research Institute, and private operators in the Indian Ocean Coast, as well as this Lake Victoria. There is no doubt, therefore, that the Kenya Shipyards is emerging as a center of shipbuilding and maritime excellence and is poised to become Kenya's strategic anchor in the development of our blue economy and all the resources associated with it. This event is therefore important as a critical component of the national agenda to catalyze the growth of the blue economy by channeling technology as well as local and foreign direct investment into a diverse industrial ecosystem with distinct clusters assembled around shipbuilding. 